you guys doing today? It's basic sorgonomics for this March 6th, 2015. Cold, 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 record-breaking cold March in Pittsburgh. I really hope we're over this hump because, holy crap, we need to warm up. Um, anyways, I've been hibernating. I've been completely hibernating this week. Um, um, actually, a little bit under the weather uh, it's really kind of killed my momentum. But uh, hence these late, late releases here uh, from day to day. But we're picking it up. We're picking it up. We're getting going. We're, we're, we're not keeping us down, you know. Um, but uh, today I want to talk about, we have a, a, a few opportunities that are coming up. Um, one confirmed, one uh, still waiting on the final details on. Um, I'm doing some teaching sessions here coming up, um, partially for nonprofits and also for uh, kind of small businesses and everything. Um, first of which is actually coming up on March uh, 26th. Uh, we're as part of uh, if you're on meetup.com or on, over on Journal of Lifestyle Medicine, which is a site that I help with um, from time to time. But no, it'll be you know, a good bit, a good bit, helping with their podcast. And it's a print publication. It's on, online as well uh, about practitioners here in the Pittsburgh area. And uh, we're uh, going to be doing a session called Pos Podcasting Essentials for Practitioners. Podcasting Essentials for Practitioners. Hello. There we go. Um, and we had some, and even doing a little bit of, you know, using Google Hangout, you know, just as a sample of exactly what do you do with this um, as a, you know, hey, look, this is what we do with some pretty decent equipment. And, you know, I've talked about, you know, just this week about what we're doing with one of my clients to have a nice streamlined podcast uh, situation happen. Um, so that's going to be down at Roland's. And, um, I, and also there's going to be a few opportunities opportunities coming up talking about you know i've been playing so much with uh instagram snapchat uh you know all these short form video kind of functions um uh, potentially they're on the uh, you know uh, they're they're on the you know to be approved a list um I might be going to the library uh carnegie library do some sessions over there as well coming up in may um so I thought it was a good time to kind of talk about my philosophies on uh, social media and the access to these things. Um, you know, I love doing them. Uh, I love that I get to uh, work with clients about how they get to, you know, kind of expand on, on a budget, you know, a little bit um, on all this kind of stuff. Hence, the stuff we're doing out of Seclair is the, you know, what can we do for X amount for a small practice that doesn't have a budget to do any holy crap big time videos and that's how, how we get down to a webcam a snowball mic and using google hangout to do things you know like we were talking about yesterday um because it's in the budget you know um and uh you know and, and i think that's the biggest thing is that accessibility you know um you know, I'm a believer in it. You know, when I talk to you, we, we've done sessions before on social media at Carnegie Library as part of the, the PodCamp uh, breakout sessions. And, uh, um, you know, I, I'm a big believer that, you know, about anybody can do this. Now we're adding the little uh, addition there we came up the other day. Anybody can do this with patience. Um, anybody can find the time. Anybody can do this if, if, it's, if they think it's worthwhile. And with as much as social media has been getting in the news and people are seeing these success stories, um, I, think, I think everybody wants to get into it but needs to find the time. Um, I, and, you know, for, for me, you know, I'm, you know, when I do work with people, I'm not one of these people like my friends uh, that are, you know, going to school and, and, and have the whole marketing side of it, too. Um, for me, I know how to tell stories. I know, which is kind of an extension of doing the video is, is telling stories, getting a message out there, um, you know, in a more organic sense, I guess. Um, and building stuff around that and building productions around that, uh, if we're talking about podcasting as well. Um, but I think that's the biggest thing about social media is that accessibility, you know, especially when we look at, you know, these sessions coming up maybe for uh, nonprofits. Um, the nonprofits don't have a social media budget. It is them. They can't put in to have a social media person, you know. But it is a big thing where you can say, hey, look, you, you, have, you have this thing. You have this computer in your pocket, right? Here's what you can do with it. And I think there's a mindset that goes with it, too. Um, when I was in, I'm always looking for opportunity. I don't know if it's just the way my mind works. Um, but I'm always looking at something sideways and saying, okay, can we do this with that? If I use my camera like this, uh, maybe we can tweet, tweet about that thing, you know, um, and I don't know if it's a, a journalistic, you know, 
kind of mindset, you know, to say, okay, that can be broadcasted. You know, when I look at something like, you know, when we're, when we're at a business or at an event or something, um, and kind of always be on for something like that. And I think that's something that needs to develop with people. Maybe not everybody sees it that way. Um, I remember, you know, I took the opportunity when we went to San Francisco and we only had a day to actually be in, in San Francisco and hang out a little bit. Uh, but I actually received this little robot thing. Um, in my stock in my stocking for Christmas you know and uh, you know I didn't have much out there I'm all the way out in California and I and, and I got thinking like why don't we take this little guy and uh, let's you know take him around town and I can you know make something because <laughs> you know the podcasts were on hiatus I'm out in California for uh, for nearly two weeks so my creative uh, juices were you know Kind of bubbling a little bit and I, I needed to do something really um and and i came up with this video and you know a few people watched it but um I, but i remember like one of my you know relatives in-law relatives out there were saying you know were amazed about you know how i'm just looking at everything and finding all these little places for him to go um but I think social media is like that too you need to look at something and say can i tweet this can i can i facebook this and then you know am i doing this in a way, you know, so people know what we're about as a company or as an individual, even if you're on Twitter and you're just tweeting, you know, why are you on there? You know, and I think a lot of people, you also got to think, you know, a lot of people are on there just to be on there. Like a lot of their people are on there just because it's, it's a place to converse. It's a place to be a part of much like Facebook. Right. Um, and, and I do for my own entertainment as well, but I also, for me, when I look at my Twitter, it's like, I, it's kind of my front end brand. Ugh, that sounds so disgusting in my mouth, um, but it but it is. It, and even when I'm talking about stuff that you know may not be very attractive to potential clients, you know that's okay because uh, you know I I kind of want people to not be surprised by me, um, and uh, and kind of as a whole, right? Um, and uh, and it's, it's actually really interesting. In some points, I'm I'm usually very um, Stand off and just say, "Oh yeah, I do this stuff with pro wrestling because I'm worried that people are going to think down on me." But as it turns into a very interesting conversation starter, too. So I'm uh, so more and more I'm I'm less afraid and and I guess embarrassed by it. Uh, not that I should be embarrassed by it at all. Um, in a business setting, it's a, it's a it's a nice outside the box uh, uh, icebreaker. It feels so. Um, but anyways, I think I'm digressing from my point here. Uh, so bringing it back around. Um, but, uh, anybody can use this stuff, but no, it, and also I think, I think the biggest thing, um, I've worked with so many people that get so frustrated over change and that's the other, the other point. And maybe I should just write these down as a, as a, as a, this is what you need. This is your mindset. If you want to get started with this stuff, um, every time they went into Google hangout, they'd be frustrated. Like, Oh, they changed something. Ah, oh, this has changed. Ah, oh, Facebook changed it again. And it's frustrating. It's absolutely frustrating. But these are developing platforms, and they're going to, you know. I'm amazed that I've gone so long without seeing a major change to how I do things in uh, <laughs> on Facebook. And actually, they've all been changes for the, they've been, they've been all additive changes and not destructive changes. Like stuff like using the video like I've been, which has been really, really interesting, actually really fun. Um, the way I, I can take these videos and put them on Facebook and people seem to be so much more uh, reactive to them on there um, because that's where everybody lives. And, and that's the other consideration. Where, are, where is your audience? You know, uh, one of my clients, I have them on the big three, the Twitter, the Facebook, the uh, um, Google Plus. Uh, and, and everybody's on Facebook in that, in that demographic. But we still still put them out on the other ones just so there's there's a presence there right um and i think that's okay but you don't have to i i think for some people uh for some groups they're like look we're on facebook that's where we're going to be that's where we're pretty sure all of our people are going to be that that interact with us you know um we're going to be there and uh you don't have to be everywhere you don't have to be on pinterest and maybe maybe somebody you, you like if you're a crafts person or something or, or doing baking you probably should be on pinterest and you should look at it if we can go on pinterest do you see a lot of people like you um you see a lot of that audience so demographics perfect for some of those things um but those are probably bigger words for people just starting out on something like this but um but no uh if you have any questions or anything like that about getting started with social media. I'm always happy to help, of course. 
Um, and of course, check out the great, actually check out the great PodCamp Pittsburgh sessions. Um, I still have a few to put up. I have not exactly found the time to capture the rest of them. I'm working on it. Uh, but there's a lot of great ones over there at PodCampPittsburgh.com. Uh, you can actually go or go through to the YouTube and there's like past years of stuff, some great conversations. There's a great one about copyrights from like several years ago. Rob Daly Creta did. Um, and, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of fun stuff about podcasting, different angles of it, blogging, social media. Uh, that, that's a first stop for anybody that I recommend, you know, to check that out. So, and it's local, it's local to Pittsburgh, you know. So that's it. That's basic story economics for the day, for the week, I suppose. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.